Hello, my beautiful badgers. As many of you may be aware, there is a terrible war currently raging in Ukraine, and there are millions of people dispersed and thousands of civilians that have died in Ukraine already. And it doesn't look like Russia shows any signs of stopping at this point. There are people all over the world trying to do what they can to help those in need, and unity are stepping up to the plate and saying that they are standing with Ukraine and they've got two amazing offers going on at the moment that you can use to help fund those charities charities in Ukraine and support the people there. The first is the Ukraine Mega Bundle. Now that's going to run for the entire month of March. But more than that, Unity are also donating all of their proceeds from Ukrainian uh, developers, publishers on the Un Unity Asset Store. That's over 500 friends that we've got in the Unity family that live in Ukraine directly affected by this horrible, needless war. And Unity are giving away their 30% of every sale of their assets to the charities to support the people of Ukraine. That's going to go on for this entire year. That's not just for March. That's for the remainder of 2022 i mean hats off to unity for that that's gonna that's gonna become a lot and a lot of money that's gonna help a lot of people uh, the the unity mega bundle the ukraine mega bundle that unity are doing at the moment that runs for this month um, has got many publishers not just from ukraine but from all over the world who are working together to help and support the people of ukraine and you can too just by picking up uh for 17 euros and 87 cents let's put this into dollars so it's got round numbers there we go twenty dollars uh you can pick up these fantastic assets from amazing these are these are publishers that uh we know and love you've got the water shader urp and lwrp uh which is from easy game studios um we've got triple brick with his stylized town we've got dusty room and the Everloop non-linear soundtrack Dusty Room do some amazing uh, shaders as well for get those tune shaders for your games and blink the creators of the rpg system they're also uh, giving away these lovely textures that you can get these realistic forest textures from the rpg environment down here 30 dollars or more you'll be able to pick up these farm animal sounds from kafofo infinity pbr giving a massive bundle with the medusa minotaur troll and cobra snake do not forget that once you have picked up this bundle uh, and you go over to the infinity pbr you click on each of those individual assets listed in the description and you add those to your shopping cart and you get even more bonus ones as well uh try polygon giving away this beautiful basilica cathedral uh art and game we had on the stream uh, nasa's giving away this global illumination proxy we actually showed that off on the live interview of him and it, it is beautiful now down here 40 dollars or more you get these 24 extra assets and each one of them is really fantastic i mean you don't need any excuse to pick up this bundle but um you know look at this uh the city and terrace pack from polybox 165 dollars the detailed medieval village from astrofish 130 dollars racetrack generator 100 dollars from master pixel uh digital rubies giving away this weather maker volumetric clouds and weather system of unity cinti the pot the farm from uh, polygon farm from cinti product that is a beautiful kit uh arcana the sci-fi arsenal um and paradox notion this slate cinematic sequencer and then doesn't even stop there there's even more uh, michael kremel with mk glow calls from dimitri dryzak uh we've got bit gem and the ghoul crew carlos wilkes space graphic planets jungles monkey uh monkey product productivity commands six games with their tune harbor pack that we've, we've checked out we love that one uh graph has got 100 special skills and effects zombie pro from mo uh that mocap online and we've got down here high road engine for more mountains philippe and Armand has got this kinematic character controller that i know many of you use and we've got the poly art studios giving away dreamscape nature meadows tony lee from pixel crushers giving away love hate everyone loves love hate nobody in the world hates it down here we've got radic bielolov from the low with the low poly wild animals gonna throw those in to the sinti pack and have them running around phasalophobia 
Uh, stylized Ocean from Distance Lands is an amazing kit. We've played about with that one on the stream as well. It is beautiful. Uh, Gaia 2021 from Procedure Worlds and the Crafting Mechanic Animation Pack from Explosive. Now let's pop in uh, inside Unity in just a second and delve into some of these to show you what you would be getting. So just, this is just them. Reading them off, do not worry. I will be popping in and showing you what you're getting in some of these. I'm not going to go through every single one because, you know, it's a, it's a huge collection. But some of that we haven't showed off already. Many of these we've shown off on the stream and on the YouTube channel already. Let's pop over to this amazing page. Assistor.unity.com slash Ukraine. As I was saying, Unity are giving 30% of every sale of Ukrainian publishers towards charities for the people of Ukraine for the entire 2022. It's an amazing gesture and hopefully it's going to help a lot of people. Uh, war doesn't, or the, the impact of war doesn't end when war ends. It carries on for generations to come after. There's going to be many, many years of healing needing to, to come from, from this conflict and hopefully your donations and the support from all other charities around the world are going to help the people. This isn't about politics. This isn't about um, any, any of that nonsense I've been seeing on people's posting online um, about, oh, if you're support, you know, supporting this conflict, you have to support other ones as well. This is about children who are currently dying. This is about homes that residential municipality areas that are being targeted. This isn't about politics. This is about your fellow man. So just put put aside one moment all your, your talks about one-upmanship and being you know, keyboard warriors. Just think about the little girl who was in her last year of primary school and she won't get to see it or what her life could have been. Sorry, it's about the 20th take of trying to do this video. Um, there's loads of amazing friends that we know who are over there. So it's just a list of some of the Unity publishers who are based in Ukraine at the moment. And I'm sure many of you are using a lot of these assets already. So, um, don't forget, even if you do own some of these assets, you can always buy them again. Um, and and add them to your collection again so don't worry you can keep on buying assets as many times as you want especially when you've got um multi keys and more people in your teams that you want to share them with so yeah or obviously you know this isn't the only way that you can support there's many charities out there i would suggest that you just search online and find uh charities that you want to support all right let's pop inside Unity and play about with some of these amazing assets. First things, let's play about with the Basilica Cathedral from Tripolygon, normally $30. And I'll also throw in the kinematic character controller from Philip Salomon, which is normally 60 bucks. Now the Basilica Cathedral it's very beautiful. This was made using Umodeler. Now, if you have got Umodeler, you can download this package from the Asset Store, this Basilica Cathedral, and it will give you the files it is. So you can use Umodeler to play about with it. If you don't have Umodeler, do not worry, because you can still just throw it in and use it like a regular model, as you would any other from the Asset Store. When I imported in the Basilica Cathedral, it had this folder called Unity Packages, and inside you can see URP your modeler, built in RP your modeler, and just URPs. I went for the URP one, and I also threw in the character controller. You've got a little character controller already in this pack, but I threw in the uh, example character from, hang on, where are you? Here he is, the example character from the kinematic controller from Philip Samant. What does this building look like? Uh, as we take a peek, well, there's a lot of parts to this building. Uh, it's a frame. If we turn these on and off, wow. I would say, like, um, it's obviously all these bits are modular then. Uh, use some kind of mesh combine tool for when you're ready in your, in your games when possible. Um, and also, uh, 
Uh, how are you looking on here at the mesh count itself? Oh, look at that. Only 736 verts and 632 triangles on that. I was expecting a lot more. I wonder if the door's going to open with this one. Let's quickly play and see what happens. Okay, so it's a polygony style looking cathedral. First things first, I'm going to say. It's not the realistic look. It's a polygony style. And it's nice. Oh, where's my colliders? Oh, my word. He f oh, dear. <laughs> Straight. There's colliders up here. Look, I can get up these steps. He goes boom, boom, boom. But there was, I'm not going to come back over there into that corner. Oh, my word. Let's see. Is there a script onto these? Maybe there's a script on his controller script. Or maybe there's some kind of collide uh, trigger set to open. <gasps> there is a trigger set to open. Oh, lovely. What about these doors? Is there a trigger set to open? No. <laughs> is this... Oh, we go inside. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, wow. Okay. We can go to a wedding. At the church. This cathedral. We are dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. Uh, wow, this is a look, stained glass windows. This is lovely. This was, They made this using UModel. It goes to show how powerful UModel is. Uh, can we get up there? No. I think it's just the way up. Well, there is stairs over here. Let's go up these stairs. Yeah, UModel is very powerful. Got the time to, and the ability. Now, I do know Blend is free. Okay, I know Blend is free. But it's always nice to be able to edit things and, and make things inside Unity as well. When you're, when you're in the middle of making stuff and you need to throw some things together. Wow, this is a great this is a great pack. And this is in the second tier. So if you're spending $30 or more, you'll get this along with the pack, the four packs that you're getting the the $20 or more. Wow. And this character controller. From Philip Salman. I'm going to have to watch some YouTube videos to see what we can do with it. But if you are looking for a kinematic controller, and a lot of people keep on saying, I really wish Unity would do a proper kinematic controller, then, yeah, problem solved. Go over to get this bundle. Uh, the next bundle, the character controller is in the bundle for $40 or more. So, this cathedral, Basilica Cathedral, those are lovely textures on this column, is in the $30 or more. And the character control is in the forty dollars more. We're going to play about with another asset that's in the twenty dollars or more pile. We're going to be playing about with the stylized town from Triple Brick. Normally, it's just nineteen dollars, but we're getting it as part of this mega bundle for the Ukraine charity that Unity are putting together. And if you're paying twenty dollars or more for the bundle, you're getting this one in. So for the price of basically this asset, you're getting four assets from the unity asset store let's pop inside unity because we're getting lots of 25 different props lots of things 25 props that you're getting in this pack look uh, a, a bit of the wall lower part of the wall we're getting signs we're getting uh different shutters that you can put on your windows and things a rubbish bin lid with no rubbish bin we got a phone booth the classic british phone booth can the door open on our phone booth? Well, I'm going to say, yes, it can open on our phone booth. What's the point of a phone booth if you can't, if I could put the, uh, <laughs> what's the point of a phone booth if you can't go in and go, hello, I need to use the toilet, just like we do in the UK. Uh, you've got the lanterns for the walls, your gutters as well, chimneys, chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim chim. chim. We've got a chimney extension as well for the really long chimneys. Different types of chimneys, chimney pipes, bollards, bollards to you too. I hear you say, No, we get floors, different floors. I love the curvy ones as well. We've also got walls and windows and curvy ones, doors in there. Beautiful, they don't open up, they're just facades. Uh, we've also got storefronts, so you can have different types of storefronts that you want. Don't have to be the pharmacy and doesn't have to be the pub that you get in this pack. You can have whatever you want to do. Look, a bookstore. Or the Queen's Pub. You can just stick this in your favourite editor and just make your own ones. 
really, if you wanted to. And different roof pieces as well, roof with windows, and then just the tiger bits as well. Not only that, you get a lot of pre-made ones. You get uh, 15 ready-to-made, ready-to-use, ready-made buildings. And on average, these are 15Ks. And some of the bigger ones are 25Ks as well. Popping inside and running around the demo scene that you get, we've got a daytime scene and we've got a nighttime scene in this pack. It is a rather large demo scene. Do not try to flip it, please. But you know what? This will be really easy to throw in with something like City or um, even if you had a bit more patience, you could use the fantastic City uh, Builder as well. Talking about people who are fantastic. The creator of the fantastic city builder has got the track racetrack generator as part of this ukrainian bundle so thank you so much let's click the e button and as i go into the nighttime scene i can run around and see how it's dark and spooky with the fog i am using urp but uh you can use this with hdrp and you can also use this with built-in as well look at this it's nighttime and the lights are on inside and what are people up to it's very very spooky like loving this urp fog all right i want to throw in the bit gem characters and have them run around for you show you how easy it is to add those people into your scenes so if we go to the bit gem folder where were you bit gem there he was and i'm going to choose one of these uh, a boss a boss seems very big let's throw the boss in let's throw the boss in there's the boss okay here's the boss very attractive fellow and i'm also going to go over here to the top and i'm going to say uh, tools standard assets uh, reset third person control armature and now it's going to throw those in i'm also going to do a little bit of cheating here i'm going to copy the well placement of this and i'm going to paste it to all of these there we go all of a sudden everyone's all thrown in and if we turn off our ghoulish friend you'll notice that we've got a pinky armature not to worry not to worry at all i'm going to throw away the ghouls uh come actually you know, before i do that very lazy way of doing it, i'm just going to click on this here this little avatar there and i'm going to also what i'm going to do is i'm going to unpack the armature and i'm going to drag in the ghoul here and i'm also going to drag in the ghoul into there and i'm going to remove the other two objects i'm also going to turn off the capsule that we get in this pack <laughs> i forgot to remove you remove you remove you i thought i did well, i forgot to do so we're gonna go over to our little ghoul here and i'm gonna Make it useful. I'm going to go into the animation. I'm going to say create an animate override controller and I'm going to call it ghoul boss animator. So we need to find starter assets and we're going to start dragging things in. Before we do that, we need to make sure they're set to loop, but they're not set to loop. So we want the idols, the run, and the walk set to loop. Oh, we have to do them one by one. Oh dear. So loopy loopy and loopy for you too wonderful and then i'm gonna go over to our little boss over here where was our um who's got this one and i'm gonna drag in ours to replace it now here we're gonna put in run and walk and idle we could fill out all the rest but we don't really need to right now so i'm just gonna leave those and click play and see how our boss now looks now he's got his strange little lumbering walk i'd like to say there is one downside to using <laughs> this fellow to walk around and that is we can't see much because of his massive humpback uh all right so i'm gonna pause it and do the same again for the a different character one that we might actually be able to see the scene
Here he is. I put him in. He's using the standard Unity character controller. He's a lovely fellow. Hello, how are you doing? Do you want to see his friends? Let's throw his friends in too. Let's click. Oh, look at them coming out of the ground. That's the spawn animation. Very spooky. And here they are. They've got the fighting. They've got blocking. They die when they're finished as well. Oh, hit. And he's down. So these are our little friends that you get with the bit gem calls pack. And there they are. A little bit worse for wear now that they've all fallen down. As I said, we can run around and to our heart's content. Look at them. Beautiful. Beautiful. So big, it is a big demo, as I was mentioning earlier. So do, do try not to flip it. I would love to try to throw this into uh, a city kit to build. I would like to also have the time to make my own buildings, my own designs. Uh, ones that i would make but you do get enough look, look, there's enough variation in here you can't even tell when they're repeating to make your own different uh different kind of town here i like to to make like the different storefronts i like to make some variations of the storefronts so i can make like uh, haberdasheries and things like that that'd be quite cool chef recommends fried eggs with bacon scottish steak and fish and chips i'll be doing some more videos of the assets in this ukraine mega bundle it is running for the entirety of march and unity are also as I mentioned earlier doing a great uh support for charity where for the entire year remainder of 2022 they are giving all of their uh percentage from the asset sales of ukrainian publishers that's the 30 percent cut that unity get are going to charity for the people of ukraine all these victims, children, families that need your support right now. People running out of food, medicine, um, children running out of cancer treatment, medicine right now as well. Uh, people running out of insulin who are diabetic. People needing your help. So all your money in these charities hopefully is going to get to the people that need it the most. So if you do like these videos, you want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. To all of your friends, random people on the street, that it's time to support your fellow stranger that you've never met before, but we're all human beings. So if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.